There was a study done back in 2020 that says that 80% of retiring Filipinos are not financially prepared. So, diba, nakakatakot and nakakalungkot siya paingan. And that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully, makatulong. So, what's up mga ka-investor? Welcome back to Investor TV. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three ways you can prepare for your retirement. So, number one is to start today. Ay, so, baka nagtataka kayo, no? Ito si Toma, batang bata pa. Bakit retirement na yung pinag-iisipan or pinag-uusapan? And it's because there is no age too young ay, to start thinking about, strategizing about, or planning for your retirement. Unless siguro 12 years old ka pa lang, elementary ka pa lang, no? Pero you guys get the point. Ay, the best time to start is today and the biggest advantage you can have is if you start young. Ay, so, syempre, hindi mo makakuha, di ba? Yung retirement fund na kailangan mo kaagad, di ba? Kung nasa early 20s ka pa lang. It will take... Diba, a good amount of years for you to do that Especially if you're just starting out in your career Or sa business mo What's important is you're putting yourself in a position to succeed You're putting yourself on the right path On the right journey So kunyari, number one You're already learning how to manage your finances properly Or number two You're learning how to control your spending habits Hindi puro online shopping palagi, right? Para makapag-ipon ka pa Or number three You're already starting on your investing journey, right? You're already building a investment portfolio that's well diversified, that should reap profits over the long run. So yun lang yun, by starting young, you're already building right, the foundation you need. And the last thing you want to do is to bury your head under the sand. Especially kung nasa early 20s ka pa, huwag tayo yung may mindset na ano na, ah, ano pa yan, 30 to 40 years or not, di ko muna iisipin. Pass tayo sa ganun. Right? And whatever your age is when you're watching this video, diba, regardless of it, what's important is we start today, and we take responsibility because this is for our future. Number two is to allocate a consistent portion of your income to your retirement savings. So a key part of retirement planning is to answer the question, how much do I really need to retire? So of course, mag iba iba to, right? Depending on the individual, on the circumstances, on your income, on your expenses, or on the lifestyle you want to live. But it suggested that you should save at least 10 to 15% of your annual income per year for retirement. Pero sa totoo lang, if i-google nyo lang, diba? Sobrang daming rule of thumbs kung magkano dapat i-ipon mo, diba? Right? But if you can't do 10 to 15% of your annual income right now, but that's okay. Right? But what's important is you're building that habit. You are still consistently putting a portion of your income para sa retirement savings mo. No matter how little yun, start building that habit. What matters is you're still setting aside a portion of your income, diba? Huwag lang yung totally wala. Diba? And lala, if you're in debt, you have to get out of that. And it's important that we do this monthly, oh. So, hindi siya, ano, uh, lump sum payment at the end of the year prior savings. Well, no, we want to do it monthly. Why? Because this builds consistency and discipline over the long run. And, and as we already know, sobrang importante yung disciplina sa pag-manage ng finances natin over the long run. The last tip, number three, is to invest for your future. So number two, na-highlight ko yung important sa pag-save, di ba? Pero hindi lang sapat yung pag-save ng pera. Bakit? It's because sobrang daming variables, right, can change over sa future. Di ba? We don't know. Baka magmahal yung cost of living. For example, now, di ba, with the war. Right? Sobrang mahal magpagas, di ba? Parang mas practical pa sumakay na lang sa kabayo. But kidding aside, you can invest on your own, right? All you have to do is study how the financial markets work, the right strategies, then you can actively manage your own portfolio. You can invest in equities, bonds, REITs, or if mas aggressive ka, cryptocurrency, right? But if this is not your cup of tea, right? Let's say, busy ka sa career mo, busy ka sa pamilya mo, busy ka sa pag-manage ng business mo, then the best route for you to take is to invest in mutual funds. So bakit? Bakit mutual funds? Because when you invest in mutual funds, right, your money is put in a basket of the best companies in the Philippines and even sometimes the best companies abroad, right? And your money or investment is being handled by a professional portfolio manager whose sole purpose is to make sure that your investment is safe and of course, yielding a profit over the long term. So if this is something that resonates with you, then you can invest on the best mutual funds in the Philippines on the new Invest app. All you have to do is download the mobile app on your Play Stores or you can go to www.investa.ph. So here, you can start your investing journey for as low as 50 pesos. So through investing, you are taking advantage of the power of compounding. And I made a whole video on that topic right here. Tignan na lang sa channel namin. 
but basically compounding makes your money work for you. So for a simplified example, let's say you are invested on the best mutual funds on the new Invest app, right? With your 100,000 pesos in savings and you get an average return of 10% per annum, hypothetically. So by the end of year one, your 100,000 pesos will have a 10,000 peso profit, making your total port now 110,000 pesos. While by the end of year two, your 110,000 pesos, again with the same 10% return, will yield you a profit now of 11,000 pesos, bigger than what you got in year one and so on and so forth. So because of compounding, meron siyang snowball effect. Right? And your money is growing exponentially over time as long as you remain invested. So yun yung beauty of investing, yun yung power of compounding. Right? Instead of forever, for many years, working for money, at some point, yung pinaghirapa mong pera, it's time to make your money work for you. So pagkatapos mo mag-decide, magsimula, pagkatapos mong magplano, pagkatapos mong mag-ipon at may emergency fund ka na, it's time to invest. Para secure yung future mo, para secure yung retirement mo, at merong passive income pa rin na pumapasok. So that's it. Those are my three tips for you. Hopefully, nakatulong. If you want more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to Invesa TV here on YouTube. And click that bell button para rin may notifications.